session five of Mercy. And so far we've been looking at mercy as God not giving us the punishment we deserve. But today I want to look at mercy as God's benefits for us. We go back to Psalm 103, which is a good psalm to read at any time. It starts, Praise the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. And then it goes on, Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And then it lists the benefits. The first one, of course, is forgiveness. And that's the greatest benefit that we can receive from God, because without forgiveness we have no hope. But the psalm then goes on listing benefits like healing, redemption, he crowns us with love and compassion. So his love and compassion sort of crowns us as his prince or princess. He satisfies our needs, satisfies that inner longing to belong, that need to be significant, the need to have self-worth. Then he works righteousness and judgment. These are all things that we receive without deserving them. God doesn't just set us free from the guilt of our sin, but he wants to bring us into a wholeness of life. Mercy goes beyond forgiveness to restoration and fullness in life. Then the next statement in the psalm in verse 8 says, The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. There are many references in scripture to the um, slowness of God's anger. It's really talking about his patience. The well-known passage in 1 Corinthians 13 on love. And the first one that Paul writes is, love is patient. And then a little further down, he describes it as not easily angered. The love he describes here, of course, is the perfect love of God. It keeps no record of wrongs, meaning that once we're forgiven, then what we've done is gone. And God does not hold that against us. God does not get angry at his people, but he does get angry at sin. He cannot let sin go unpunished. And hence the people of Nineveh in Jonah's day, because they were so evil, there was punishment that was to come. But God wanted them to have a chance to repent. The people of Israel were warned time and time again that they had gone against God, that they were doing dreadful things. Prophet after prophet said the same thing until finally God allowed them to suffer the consequence of their sin and they were overrun by other nations. But even then, he had plans to bring them back and restore them to their homeland. It was because of his great love for them. It says in Psalm 106, verse 41 says, He handed them over to the nations, and their foes ruled over them. But then in verse 44, But he took note of their distress when he heard their cry. For their sake he remembered their covenant, and out of his great love, he relented. Mercy is a wonderful gift that God gives us, but we can't presume on his mercy and simply do as we please. Sin cannot go unpunished. That's why we need to come to Jesus. We need to recognise that he has paid for our sin. Our sin is punished, but in God's amazing love, we are the ones allowed to go free. Jesus is the face of God's mercy.